I've literally just got in the door from San Diego, TwitchCon 2024. And uh, now, tomorrow, I'm flying to New York City to do a cool, cool thing with EA Sports, which means I need to record something while I'm away for two days. And that's why we're doing Mail Time with Brian. Yes, I know it's been a while since we've done a Mail Time with Brian. Reason being, we actually didn't get a lot of things sent to us one time. And that hurt my feelings. But then I did like a tweet and then people started sending stuff. And then I forgot to do the video. And so normally we do this on the extra channel. Also, we've been doing it on the live streams. Open up the PO Box stuff. I've got a bunch of stuff here. We're going to do a longer version right over here on the extra channel. Yes, the extra channel. You like that? We recently hit 100,000 subs. We're almost at 110,000 subs. So if you guys want to see a longer version of this video, please go over to the extra channel. Link is right right there. Look, just in the descriptions right there at the top. Click that. Go over and subscribe. And we're going to have longer versions of the PO Box stuff. So a lot of the letters, other things that mightn't be, you know. We want to keep it nice and action-packed here on this video. So go on over to the extra channel if you want to see the longer version. And let's get straight into it. And yes, when we do Mail Time with Brian, I, I have to wear this. In homage to Respawn Inbox with Mr. Sark and APL. That's why I'm dressed like this, okay? Show the clip, Clyde. Blaze Ireton Underwood, who wins in a game of penis, take consecutive turns saying the word penis, getting louder and louder in the office. Uh... Penis! Next question, I win. My first thing, what have we got today? What is this one? All right, here we go. Let's start it off. I heard you like Manchester United. Here's a gift that you can use while you watch the games. Finn Jake. Thank you, Finn Jake. Something from Manchester United always will cheer me up. Well, not always. The results have not been cheering me up. But any gift from you guys that's Manchester United related, that's great. I appreciate that. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Now, what is this? Oh, a mini bar set. Manchester United pint glass to drink away my pain as I watch Man United concede another goal to a team in the championship. Brilliant. Looking to hurt them. And Salah, 3-0 Liverpool. Oh, that's actually very nice. Thank you, Finn Jake. Pint glass, uh, some kind of towel to wipe the tears away from being a Manchester United fan. What a great start. That's gone straight into my pub. Oh, and coasters. Lovely. This arrived today, and I think it's a U2s. Here's my guess. It's my U2s, and the person wants me to sign it, and then pay for another $100 ship. I'm not... I had to pay $100 to ship a U2s back to someone, okay? Just so you know, if you ever want me to open something, sign it, and send it back, I'm more than happy to sign something for you guys. But as long as you have a prepaid return package that comes with it, basically, you pay for the shipping back to you, because... I can't be doing that for everyone. That's expensive. And views are been pretty shit. <laughs> I'm becoming real broke boy. Ah, guess what it is, guys? It's the Paddy News U2s. Stop focusing on my face. Paddy News U2s. And I'm guessing there's going to be a request here to sign it and return it. And there is no prepaid shipping. Mother... <laughs> When you receive the box, send me a quiet email to blah, 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 blah. Can you accept PayPal or MoneyGram email and let me know because you can't do prepaid in Canada. We don't have UPS. Hey, Brian, it's me, Riley. I've been watching your content for years. I've been watching you and the guys throughout the years. I also want you to sign the U2s in the box, sign the display window, but take off the protector. P.S. Love your videos. Love, Riley. At least Riley was smart enough to give me details to make contact, which we will. And then we will get Riley's money <laughs> and then ship it back. But I will do that. Don't show your address. Thank you, Riley. Man, I am tired. TwitchCon was fun. Well, was it? The event itself was a little meh. But me, uh, I said to Lene, I said something that probably sounds stupid. But I'm just, maybe I'm just trying too hard to be humble. But I genuinely didn't think I was going to get recognized that much. Genuinely. Might sound stupid. Because, you know, clearly. But I genuinely didn't, didn't think. And I got spotted by, like, someone. I was walking the floor with Lene. Got spotted. They asked for a photo. I was like, yeah, sure, of course, no problem. Did a few, like, pictures and signed some stuff. And then turned around and there was a, there was a queue on the first day. There was a queue. And then 
it happened every single day. And it was very, very sweet and very humbling. And thank you. I've come back from TwitchCon with a new lease of, I guess, energy, self-belief. This sounds like a load of shit. But you actually don't know what goes in, maybe not just my mind, but other content creators' minds, where there's kind of imposter syndrome. As you get a little bit older, you start to think, ah, you're shite. <laughs> you're, you're a has-been. You're whatever. You're over it. And then you go and you meet a lot of people that like thank you for everything that you've done and the and you know how much the videos means to them. And you come back with a new per, like I guess perspective and an injection of enthusiasm to get shit done and stream more, which I plan to do on Twitch, Twitch.tv forward slash Terrorizer. Please go over and follow there, and also on this YouTube channel and Terrorizer Extra. I do dual streams. I do Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So thank you, anyone that came up to me. I really do appreciate it. it means more to me than. I know, I know I'm incredibly cool, calm, collected, and I don't showcase as much, but, you know, you guys are kind of awesome. All right, what's this? What the, f the fuck is that? Beats by Dre. Oh, I bought these for Lene. Oh, these are cool. Well, Baby Yoda, God, I uh, uh, can't remember his feckin' name. But anyway, these go on top of your monitor. They're really cool. You get a little adhesive. And you just put them on top of your computer monitors. They're actually really, really, really cool. Grogu. Grogu? Grogu. That one's cool. With the Mandalorian helmet. That's very cool. That's nice. Thank you for that. Those are cool. We love those. Now, what am I opening first? Please don't be something bad. Oh, it's got your hair. Ooh, the tape has hair in it. Oh, God. Oh. I really hope this isn't a... You wish! <laughs> it's a 3D model. I can tell from the lines on it. This is 3D. You guys in your 3D printers. Oh, sick! Oh, cool! Does it- No way this works. No way does this work. Censor my We need ads. Is this an actual working- No way this is USB. This is a 3D printed USB Batman signal. No way. No way. No way. Oh my lord. That... Mm, that is pretty... That's incredible. That's the coolest 3D printed thing I have seen. Who sent me this? I didn't even read your letter. Hello, Brian. Eric here from the good old... By the way, if you're wondering, all these items that you're seeing here on the main channel, all the letters and stuff that come with it, I'm going to be reading them for the video on the extra channel. So go over if you want to see the longer version where I read everything from what people are sending me. I'm just going to show you all the cool stuff that's sent, compile it down, make it fun and, you know, nice and quick. And then uh, this longer one where I read your essays will be on the extra channel. Back to the video. Oh, this one is for me. This one's for me. This is something I bought, but I thought I'd open it in this video. Ooh, I think this one's graded. Yes. It's a Pokemon thing, and I'm pretty sure this was from a dad and son eBay store. And the dad sent me, like, a lovely email saying this means a lot to my son. He's, you know, passionate about Pokemon cards and selling them. And I thought I'd buy some more stuff from him, but I think this is the first thing I bought. It was very sweet. His dad sent me a nice little personalized thing. First, a nice little Pikachu card. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, no, I bought this one. Yeah, I bought this straight up. I needed this for my 151 collection. Look at that. Not bad. I shall maybe do a video on the extra channel with Anthony showing my 151 and trying to get the last few cards. We're going to be doing another video. Anthony and I have been enjoying doing Pokemon stuff together. And you guys have been actually really enjoying uh, the two of us making stuff together. So if you want to see more stuff, go over to Terrorize Extra. Yes, I keep plugging it because I'm having fun over there and the videos are fun. Thank you. I appreciate people who have been putting the name Brian Michael Hamby on my P.O. Box stuff. Thank you. The names have been great. Top of the morning to you. I hope you find this funny, but since y'all have a Jeep, so y'all got ducked. Have, good, have a good day. Love the videos. P.S. There should be two more packages if they're not separated from River, a.k.a. River King. And then send me these lovely ducks for our Jeep. We'll give these out to other people. <laughs> look at that. Ain't that great. That's going to look great on the Jeep. Those of you that don't know, when you get a Jeep, you can go over. If you see another person with a Jeep, you have ducks, and you go over and put a duck on the, the you know, the bonnet or the hood of their car, as you say over here. And then uh, they collect ducks, and you just put the ducks on display in the front of your Jeep. Yeah, there's a picture of a duck there. So basically, I got two of these ducks flipping the bird. Oh, man, today's been a long day of traveling. I hope I'm not boring. 
I hope my energy levels... I, I'm on my second coffee. Second coffee. The thoughts of flying to New York tomorrow is... Oh, I don't... I'm sick of airports. Get too old. Dear Brian, it's been a while since I gave you a gift. The Star Wars t-shirt is for Lene. The other gifts are for you. Regards, Paul Arthur. Thank you, Paul. Uh, so, Paul Williams. Thank you, Paul. Got socks. What did he say? This is for me on the weekend when I'm watching me football. Don't disturb me. I'm watching football. Is that what it says? Wait, does the other one say do not? <laughs> that was a guess. That was a guess. Do not disturb. I'm watching football. That is perfect for me. Thank you very much, Paul. Then they will fully understand to not bother talk to me when I'm playing my football. When I'm watching me football. There you go. You get the idea. Princess Leia. That's a good t-shirt. Very nice. Actually, it is a very nice t-shirt. And then socks, bro. I, I, you guys don't realize I love socks. I love socks. Nothing I enjoy more putting on a fresh new pair of socks. Does this say the same thing? Same thing, but in green. Thank you very much, Paul. Always a pleasure. You always send the best shit. Feck you, ya feckin' feck. The Irish swear coloring book. That is the best. It's a bunch of ya gee bag. Gee bag basically means you're just a... Uh, um, I don't know, like, what exactly it means, but it's like, basically, you'd say that. Would you shut up, you gee bag? Stop being such a massive gee bag, would you? The face in you, you gee bag. Idiot basically means idiot. So, it's like the Irish quick way of saying idiot. 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 You get it? Kind of, it's it's basically, yeah. It's like a, a, a form of saying, if you yeah, fuck off. Uh, earth hole. I love how it's in a hole. That's a beautiful, beautiful hole. Look at that. I hope I don't get demonetized. Mind you, I don't think it recognizes some of these. You're, listen, this is Nogla. This is Nogla. Whenever we're doing a reacts video, he makes it political and becomes a dry shite. But mind you, I could be a bit of a dry shite. Nogla be talking about something and I don't really have anything to add to it. I'm being a dry shite. It means you're being boring. Anti-crack. Uh, taken away from uh, the energy of the room. If you're complaining about stupid stuff, would you stop being a fucking dry shite, you gee back? See, now you're all becoming, you're all becoming fluent. And now, here's another word. He's a knob jockey, all right? Which might be, in this day and age, not great, but it means he's good. A jockey rides horses, and in this case, he rides a knob. Do the math. A ring piece. The f*** is a ring piece? I like that art, though. I have that kind of Latin art style in my pub. A ring piece. I don't even know what a ring piece is, but I'm guessing it's about your art. And the best one. Feck off. It's great. It's like saying the word with a U, a certain F word, but feck. And uh, no one understands that it's basically the Irish way of saying a a, the, the, the F word. And it's great. Now, I'd, I've never used that bottom word, all right? But get to f That basically means would you get out of here. Get to f Like if someone's talking absolute shite and you say, would you get to f that's basically what that means. It means, would you get out of here? Shut up. You're a load of crap. Would you shut up? Another one is, come on to f And we have to keep leaping some of these because I want to I want to make money off this video. I've got staff to pay, all right? And then, uh, uh, come here to f Means, come, we, come here quickly. Come over here quickly, all right? Listen, hurry up here. Come here. And uh, that doesn't translate well. My cousin once told me a story. He had an American friend. And he kept telling him, he went upstairs and would you come here to f he thought it was an invitation. He, th he was like, no, I don't I don't swing that way. Poor fella thought he was about to get upstairs and have his ring piece taken care of. Did you get it? It's in the arsehole. Lot of sensors. A lot of sensors. But my Patreon does not have these sensors. Three dollars. The link is in the description. Go on. Completely. Anything Dorsey sent to me? Any things that we have to censor in these P.O. boxes? Any certain toys for a ring piece? Uh, will not be censored on the Patreon. So if you want to enjoy it uncensored and unfiltered, go over there to the Patreon. Thank you everyone that is on the Patreon. Really appreciate it. It helps out uh, supporting all the wages of staff and uh, my addiction to Pokemon packs. Thank you. This is a good one. This is Nogla. Nogla is this to Vanos. A lick arse. It's a kiss ass. Kiss ass. Lick arse. A numpty. You're like an idiot. Uh, would you shut up, you numpty? This is great. I'm enjoying this. I'm educating you all on Irish... Swear, swear words. Munter. Oh, I can't say that. Uh, a Munter recently got in trouble on the internet. I think uh, an English team named their team Munter Hunter United or something. A Munter is basically an ugly, lovely lady. And it's not nice to call someone that because they have feelings. And it's not their fault. And people who do say that are a ball bag. There you go. That's, that's swear words in Ireland. 
There is no note with this one. Just more. Oh, it's, oh, it's probably connected with the ducks. There's more ducks for the Jeep. This is for Lene. For sure, this is for Lene. Gamer girl. <laughs> yes, this looks just like Lene. Lovely. Thank you very much. Keep the ducks coming. We're going to have a shit ton of ducks. I just know this is going to be a thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's another feckin' duck. Look at that. That's racist. Then he gets Gamer Girl and I get racially profiled. Look at that. That's a good duck, actually. To be fair, that's a good duck. I like that. I like that duck. Fair play to you. Thank you very much. You are bag, yeah. This whole video is going to be talking about Irish naughty words. And they're so Irish, I hope YouTube can't pick up on them. That could be the way for me to be able to say things to Irish a feck off. And they don't realize that's a bad word. I love the address or the name they put on this package. It says, Shipping to Terrorizer Unboxing Video. But guess what? It worked. Oh, fantastic. I know exactly what this is. Look, it's a blurred box. Again, it's a blurred box that you can only see on my Patreon. Awesome. Oh, great. I now realize what this is. It's, look on the other side. Again, it's pixelated. Cool. You can only see this on the Patreon. Who is she? <laughs> this is literally molded from whoever she is. Who the f*** are you? So let's just say this is a, a, a tool that one can use on themselves. And it is also sh modeled or molded after, let's just say this lady, Remy LaCroix, has uh, volunteered to help with the crafting of this device uh, very close to her home. This will go into my personal collection. Thank you very much. This is a t-shirt. I don't know who this is from. I don't know what it's about. Oh, bring it on, plumbers. On the back, we gotta fight Thanos Luigi. And then on the back, it says, bring it on, plumbers. What the f what randomness is this? Why are the Avengers and Ma and the Mario Brothers on this? Why am I being sent this? Anyway, uh, thank you. Is this in my size? Large. I, this, I think, is too big for me. That is a big large. Thank you. <laughs> this one is heavy. Whoa. What is this? Feels like a book. It, it is a book. So this one is from Grady. I've uh, been watching your videos for a while and they never seem to disappoint. Keep up the great work. Not sure if you play Tears of the Kingdom, but I thought you'd enjoy this gift since I know you love Zelda. Oh, I have played it. I need to finish... I need to finish uh, Tears of the Kingdom. But Breath of the Wild... Wait, what did this say? Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't finished Tears of the Kingdom. New game came out and I got distracted. I need to get back to streaming it. Terrorizer Extra and also on Twitch. Just saying, just saying. Look at the Master Sword. I'm guessing this is like... Is this like official collect? Oh, this looks nice. Oh, yes. Dive in. I might give this a read. Game structure... Inter Ooh. Oh, I like this. Do you know what this reminds me of? The good old school like Nintendo magazines and like tutorial... Like you used to read like books about how... Like it's all on the internet now. But like an official book just to read goes through everything on the game. This is so cool. It's like showing you everything. Very happy with this. A nice art of Ganon. This is cool. I like this a lot. Thank you. Thank Grady. That is actually a really, really cool gift. I love this. I will be reading this completely. Because I have to go back and finish Tears of the Kingdom. And this will get me ready. Because there's times where you haven't played a game in a while. And then you go back and you're completely... Oh, I can't remember how to play this game. I'll be ready. Thank you, bro. That is really sick. This next one does not come with a note. It was just sent from, like, some t-shirt company. What to say? Sarcasm now loading. Please. Okay, yeah. This this is a good t-shirt for me. That is a good t-shirt for me. This one is needed for me. In real life. Walking around. The Irish, very sarcastic. And Americans don't understand Irish humor. That they, they're a little too literal. Okay? Yeah, Americans are a little bit like Drax. You know? Everything goes over their head. Especially when you're Irish. All right, this next one is actually not sent by you guys. This was uh, a box that arrived today from St. Jude Children's Cancer Research Hospital, which Lene and I do a lot of fundraising for, and uh, they send us some, like, thank you stuff every year. So whenever we do live streams and you guys come in and help raise money for St. Jude, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. We try to do as much as we can for charity. I do Movember. I do the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Ireland, which I'm an ambassador of and very proud of. And we do stuff for St. Jude, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal research hospital uh, here in America that does so much for families with children with cancer. So thank you, whoever shows up and donates to our St. Jude stuff. But look at this. 
They sent me a nice new hoodie. Hopefully this fits. Again, I really have a problem with clothes lately. I'm in between a medium and a large. So sometimes it fits, sometimes it doesn't fit. If you're, if you understand that, if you're also in between like two sizes, it's horrible. You never know if something's gonna fit you unless you try it on. This t-shirt, what's this t-shirt say? It's a St. Jude one. This is nice, nice and clean. Oh, the back is nice. Oh crap, camera. You know, just nice little logo there. And then on the back, play for more than bragging rights. And that's their like slogan. And that's cool. Nice little, oh, fever fighter, like street fighter. That's cool. Thank you for that. Got some pins. I put these on my traveling bags. My backpack, I have a bunch of pins. Collect them on there. Oh, what is this? Oh, that is a huge fanny pack. Whoa, that's an American fanny pack. Jesus, you could fit a family of like three in this thing. That's massive. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's like a fanny pack for the big show. That's insanity. Okay, well, in America, they do things bigger. They're, they're fanny packs and they're people. And then also this big, speaking of big, god damn. This entire mouse mat. That is ridiculously big. Thank you, Say Jude. It's been a pleasure, all right? You're welcome. <laughs> the last item before I head off to New York. Ciao, Brian. I'm glad you liked my. Oh, this is your man in, in, in your man in feckin' Rome. You sent me the art, and it's down there. I'm looking at it. I can see your art down my corridor. I, uh, it was uh, Josh. I'm glad you liked my art, and I'm glad Lene likes the pens, because that was my guess on my part. This time, I'll keep it simple. There are two drawings in the box. It comes with a free towel, one for you, and the other's for Lene. Up to you to give her which one as well, as a leather-bound journal that also is for Lene. There's a metal sign in the box uh, saying is written in Italian. It says family is everything. In your last PO Box video, you got a letter from Haley talking about her mother passing and you talk about your father. It got me thinking about my past. When I was 17, I lost my mother and 20, I lost my father. But I have two older brothers that helped me throughout my life. I think it's I'm also reminded of a saying from one of my professors. Goditi la vita, guarda avanti per vedere dove ti porto, porta la strada. I, if you're Italian and I said that very, like, good pronunciation, then, you know, fair, fair feckin' play it to me. Enjoy life. Look forward ahead to see where the road takes you. Lovely. So I'm enjoying my life. This October will be a year of me living in the time you open this box. I would be back home in New York visiting family. P.S. The time you get this, I would have went to New York to see family and went back to Italy. The shirt is an XL. There's an item in the box that can help you when Lene is mad at you, which is all the time. And she grabs the katana. Okay, we'll keep the katana away from Lene. We'll keep, well, yeah, let's, it's not, I haven't told her about that. Okay, because for my own safety, she is Indonesian and they have machetes. She is well capable of doing some damage. Ah, this is for me. Ah, yes. Look at that. I love my old school Italia, like, Italia 90? Was it 90? Yeah, 94 was USA, USA. Italia 90, where Italy knocked the Irish out. But that's nice. Old school Italy football top. If anyone, by chance, has a Baggio uh, t-shirt. One of my favorite players. Just saying, if you have a jersey, I have a P.O. box. I'll wear the shit out of it. In a large. I'm working on my diet and I'm trying to lose weight, so maybe medium. Give me a minute to lose some weight. That's nice. Thank you very much. Nice little, uh, la familia e, e, tutti, e tutto. That is it, is everything. The family is everything. That goes up on the wall. That's a lovely one. Very nice. Two items inside this box. Ah, oh, what's this? A Yu-Gi-Oh card. Obelisk the Tormentor. Look, oh, there's a few, there's a few cards in there. There's a few cards. Thank you very much. Added to my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Oh, look at this, a nice little clock. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, that is lovely. A nice, nice little... Look at that. That is lovely. Let's open it. It looks like it has something on the inside. My mom used to have, a uh, like, a piece of... She had, like, this necklace that has, like, a curl of her mom's hair in there. Very sweet. Very sweet. But I don't want anyone else's relative's hair. Oh, you press the button at the top. I'm an idiot. And there you go. That's lovely. It's a nice little clock. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Beautiful little, I'll keep that. I have one of those outfits where it just hangs down from, you know, like that. You know, just that. being all cool with my time timepiece there, checking the clock, yeah. Thinking I'm all fancy and cool. That's very nice. I like that a lot. 
Oh, what in the shit, bro? I, you think I'm giving this to Lene? Are you mental? You think I'm letting Lene get her hands on this? No chance, bro. No, bro. I don't even know if I could put this on the internet. Oh my god. How did you get this scent? Okay, I'm gonna show you this and use your imagination what you think this may be. I will show this for the Patreon, but I'm worried that this could get me in trouble. And also, I'm afraid of Lene getting her hands on this. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, we're not gonna let Lene find this. That, that is that is terrifying. But also, a very cool self-defense for the house. Yeah, no, Lene ain't gonna get her hands on this. That is terrifying. Thank you very much. You're going to get me killed. This lovely book. That's nice. Is it a journal? Oh, God. Oh, what the f... Like, old-school paper. What the shit? Look at this. Like, really old-school paper. What the f*** do I do with this? I, I, it's really cool. Very, very... I love the paper. That's like really old school. And then... Oh, another one of your drawings. It's like a fallen angel. Like, is it Gabriel? I don't know who this is supposed to be. But that is a lovely drawing. You're so good, man. You're so good. That's done with like... Like a black fountain pen. So good. And then this one. Oh, it's like... It's like a... Uh, is it Gwen? Is it Gwen? Gwen Stacy? Venom? Turn over... If, you know, taking over a female? That's good. Very good art. Like, yeah, you're you're definitely doing the right. God, I cannot move. Hey, uh, that's beautiful. And then also the venom. That is sick. And we're done. We are done. And I got a free towel. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. And remember, if you want to see a longer version of this video, it's over on Terrorize Extra. Link down below. Click on it. Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy it. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate everyone that sent me stuff. If you want to send stuff to the PO Box, it is down below in the description. Uh, send us whatever. If you have a company, if you have a product that you make, and I can just basically show your card, and if people want to get it, they can. Whatever you want. Be be crude. Be rude. I'm going to go, guys, and I'm going to take this pixelated box and do some research. No, can't show that. Can't show that. Okay. It, yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Leave a like. Subscribe. And keep sending me weird stuff. You guys are great. Slon, that tires for goodbye. Oh, you're still here. I wasn't doing anything. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.